Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have a thrift store haul video. Now my background is a little different than normal, so I'm actually changing up my filming setup. So this is actually the white photography sheet um, that came with my lighting kit, and I use it to take my Poshmark photos because I have a yellow wall behind here. And then I have my two umbrella lights facing this way. It's basically just my photography setup, my clothing photography setup that I'm filming with now. But anyway, so I have a thrift store haul. Everything in this haul I paid between a dollar and a dollar fifty for, except for one item. I paid two dollars and fifty cents for, so that is amazing cost of goods right there. And between that and me going to the outlet, the Goodwill outlet all the time now, I'm just really over the regular Goodwill days. Just those are out of my life. But um, yeah, I'm really excited. So I have kind of three different category, well, two different categories I'll be talking about as I talk about the clothes. Um, whether they'll be listed on eBay or not, I have an eBay starter store, so I only get 100 listings a month, and I post way more than 100 listings a month on Poshmark and Mercari. So, I strategically pick which items are going to go on eBay in order to maximize my sales there. And then also I'm starting a new venture in consigning, which I'll talk more about as I get into the items that I plan to consign. So yeah, let's get started. So the first item I got, if I remember how much I paid individually for each item, I will let you guys know. The first one is this Joie Joa top. It's just this um, blue silk floral shirt. It's super pretty. I just absolutely in love with it. Sad it's a large, too big for me. I would totally keep it if it wasn't. So yeah, it's really a nice top. I don't really recommend paying it for Joie. I paid a dollar for this. It's not worth paying up for because a lot of the pieces tend to sit, at least for me they do, um, and then they never end up selling for that much money. That's probably going to get me like 25 to 30 The next item I got are these J. Crew, and you can see the two dots, which means they're J. Crew Factory, but there are these J. Crew um, beach pants. I think they're called the pom-pom beach pants. That's what they're called, and these have these really cute um, pom-poms on them, and they're in really excellent condition, barely feel worn. I know summer is ending, but I live in Florida and I'm planning on consigning these, so I feel like they will definitely sell in the consignment store. The reason I plan to consign these items is because they are J. Crew Factory. They will not sell for much value on Poshmark. All the ones actually that are listed right now are new with tags, and the only ones sold have been new with tags. Nobody's ever listed or sold a used pair of these. So I definitely think I have the best chance at a consignment store. The consignment store that I go to, I haven't consigned with them yet. I'm waiting to accumulate a bunch of inventory to give to them to see how it works. Um, but most have like a minimum you need to bring in. And I already asked them about it. They do a 50-50 split. They keep your item for 90 days. And at the end of those 90 days, if it doesn't sell, they give it back to you. And then I'll just try to resell it myself. Okay, this next brand I have is this really cute... Um, white tank top with this like asymmetrical, not really asymmetrical, but just like kind of like a shark bite hem. It's by the brand Simply, which is a Canadian brand. It reminds me a lot of like Joseph Rivkoff type of clothing, but it's Canadian. At least that's how the material feels. Um, but yeah, I've never heard of this brand before, but I watch a lot of YouTubers and Nicole State, I think is the one who talks about this brand. And so I figured when I found it, I would give it a try and I spent a dollar on this item. All right, the next item, actually no, I spent $1.50 on that item, my bad. And then the J. Crew pants, I also spent $1.50 on. Okay, so the next item I got is this Philosophy tunic, new with tags, it's a size 2X. I don't know why I keep saying tunic, because it's not a tunic. Um, it's just this really cute top with a zigzag pattern on it. It has a Marshalls tag, that part I'm gonna rip off and then we'll keep the Philosophy tags on it. This is the only, I've sold one of these items before. Um, I sold Philosophy, it was a size 1X, and it sold within two weeks, so it was a pretty decent sale. So I decided to try it again, and this I got for $1.50. Okay, this next item just needs to be cleaned up a little bit because it has like black pilling on it, which is weird because the fabric isn't black at all. But it is this Lululemon Power Wide tank top. Just really basic pink and white stripes. I've never sold um, Lululemon tank tops before. Actually, that's a lie. I've sold two Lululemon tank tops before. I've never sold this style of tank top, I should say. So I'm not really sure how well it does. In general, I don't think Lululemon tank tops do amazing. They're just very basic and they're really not anything special. So yeah, this I'm probably going to be selling for about like 20 bucks, maybe less. 
All right, the next item I got is this Flax tank top. This is another new to me brand. I've heard of this brand before, but I've never found it at a good price to try it out for myself. But because I found it for $1.50, I decided to try it out. But it's just this kind of green linen cami. If I'm not wrong, I think all their items are linen. And I think this is a good eBay brand from what I've heard. But I'm gonna have to do my own research on the Completely app, but we'll see if that goes on there. All right, the next item I found is a first for me, and it is the brand Scotch and Soda. Now, I've never found this before, and then it says Nomadic Dreamers, so I don't know if that's a certain line they sell, if all their tags say that, but it's just this really cute, sheer dress. So I kind of thought this was a top at first, like a really long tunic, but through my research, I found out this is actually a dress, and it's just like completely sheer. So you have to buy a slip to wear under it or you just wear it as like a bathing suit cover it under, or you wear it as a bathing suit cover up. Um, and in the stock photos, I noticed that there is a belt that goes with it, which I do not have. Or do I? No, I don't have it. And I'm just noticing that that sleeve has a tie, but this sleeve does not. So it's a little flawed, probably won't get much for it, but I don't, know. I don't know if it's worth listing, but I probably will list it anyway. I'm not afraid of selling damaged items. They sell just fine all the time. You just get a lower price for them. All right, the next item I got is another flax item. So it looks like that. It's a size small, and it's just like a black dress with um, pockets right there. It's not all the way buttoned, but yeah, it just looks like that. Basic, nice piece. I was surprised how much these were going for on Poshmark. I think like people had them listed like... 40 to 50 and then one girl even had hers listed at 80 which I don't think anybody's paying $80 for but the solds on it were pretty decent as well I was surprised um, because it's such like a basic piece I don't even know where they sell it I've never heard of the brand until reselling all right the next item I have is a brand I've never picked up before and it is Trina Turk well, actually, I've picked up Trina Turk bikini bottoms before, new with tags, but I've never picked up any of their clothing before. Their swim, I hear, does better than their clothing, and I can attest that their swim did pretty well for me. But, um, yeah, so this is just a Trina Turk stripe button down. This is one I'm going to take to the consignment store because brands like this, they retail for a lot, but they don't do that well in the online resale market. But when people are shopping in stores at these consignment stores, they're more willing to pay up for these type of items or for these type of brands that they know is like a little expensive because they don't have the luxury of and when you're in Poshmark and you're shopping for an item you can easily type that into the Poshmark search bar find something for cheaper go on eBay go on Mercari whatever but when you're in stores you don't really have that luxury of comparing it to other sellers unless you're someone who's like me and I went to a consignment store I found the cutest Shawa blazer and then I they wanted like 45 or 50 bucks for it so I just took a picture of it researched it online and got it on eBay for like 20 bucks. So if you're a shopper like me, you'll do that, but I have the feeling in general that in store, consignment stores can sell these brands for a lot more than an online reseller can. Okay, so the next item I got is actually like a two-piece set. And I didn't really know what this brand was, but I figured I've heard of it and I thought it was a good brand. Um, it's pretty decent looking at it online. It's not as amazing as I thought it was. And yeah, it's a two-piece set. It paid $1.50 for each piece. And it is Magashoni Cashmere. And at this um, thrift store I went to today, my phone had like no service. So I wasn't able to look up comps, which kind of sucked. But because it was $1.50 and it was cashmere, I decided to take the risk. So it's just this white and blue cheetah print, the next sweater. Super cute. And then it comes with the matching tank top, or I guess it's called a shell, that goes underneath. So yeah, both the same size, both larges, definitely a set, um, probably gonna list this around 50, 55. Okay, the next item I got, I was unsure about, but they were a dollar. So I decided to take a risk on them and now that I'm showing them under the lights, I already see a stain on them because they're all white, which is why I was unsure about them. Because, okay, well I'll show you what the item was anyway but it's just the Express Editor pants. But they have sand on them, so they're relevant. So put that there. 
All right, the next item I got, oh my God, I am so excited about this piece because I'm in love with it. It is a St. John, so there is the tag, St. John size eight. It is the Prius black top. So it's just kind of like this plain black top on the front, this really cool like scalloped hem, and this is the back. It has this pearl button down. It's not really coming out that well because it's getting really washed out, but when I photograph it, you'll see how beautiful it is. It's like these pearls have like diamonds encrusted around them. They're just so pretty. I, my mom and grandma love St. John. They have a lot of it. So I always knew what it was. I've never really been a fan of it, but this is like the one St. John piece I can say that I love. So this, I'm gonna probably list around $75. All right, the next item, I oh, and I paid $1.50 for that. All right, the next item I got are these Lewin Gray Linen Joggers. They're just like light blue color. Look like this, they have like zipper pockets size medium, just a good basic bread and butter piece. Blue and Gray is a good seller if you can get it pretty cheap and you get a cute style, you should do well with it. Sorry, just, okay. This shirt I bought for myself, it just says Boss Lady on it, it's from Forever 21. Nothing special, paid a dollar, cute shirt to sleep in. I notice when, I so I'm a student, I go to um, college at, well, university, college, or whatever, and I actually dress so much nicer during the school year than like the summertime. I notice in the summertime, I just wear super comfy clothes all the time since I work from home. But I got an internship that I'm gonna start in mid-August. So these pants were for selling, but I'm actually gonna keep them out because I need work clothes. These are Banana Republic Hampton Fit Pants. They look like this. They're super cute. I paid a dollar for them. I just, I love them so much. I saw them, I knew they were super cute. They're a size zero, so I knew it wouldn't be a good seller, but I was like, you know what, if they don't fit me, because I'm typically like a zero to a two, depending on the brand. So I was like, if they don't fit me, I'll just sell them. But luckily they fit me and they're just adorable. This, yeah, the Hampton fit is an amazing fit. I really love it. But yeah, I was gonna say something before, yeah, I was like, I like to dress super comfy now that I work from home. Like I don't get, all cutesy and dressed up anymore. Um, when I was going to school and I watched resellers and they used to say like, oh yeah, I don't really dress up. I just like dress casual and comfy. And I'm like, I love fashion. I'm never gonna stop dressing up in my jeans. But when you're sitting at home all day, you just wanna wear some comfy shorts and a comfy t-shirt. So that Boss Lady t-shirt is perfect for me. Okay, this next item I got is a Brooks Brother top. So Brooks Brother has like different lines to it. So I believe it's like the 341 or is it, I think it's 341. That is their outlet line, and then they have their regular Brooks Brother line, which is a lot more expensive. This label, I believe, from my research, is the more expensive line. It is a size 6. Um, the reason I believe it's more expensive is because it has the 1818 here. has 1818 all over the buttons. I don't know if my camera, my iPhone camera is going to pick that up, but it says like 1818 on the buttons as well. And the 341, like I said, is the outlet. So, it just looks like this. It's just a pink plaid button down top. This I'm going to plan on consigning, because again, like I said, these brands sell better in-person in consignment stores than online. And I, I went to the consignment store before too to do my research on kind of what the products they were carrying, and I tried to pick items that I think they will take. All right, this next item I got is the next item I'm going to give to the consignment store. Okay, is the next item I'm going to give to the consignment store. It is this White House Black Market. It's a large, new with tags, just like pretty top. Looks like this. It's the old White House Black Market tag. So, and I was surprised that the consignment store I went to, a majority of their White House Black Market was all old tag. I think I found like one or two new tag items there. But yeah, it just looks like this. Super cute. Um, new with tags, which is why I bought it for the store. If it wasn't new with tags, probably wouldn't have bought it to consign. Alright, the next item I have are these J. Crew mini pants. They just look like this. They're just um, these khaki kind of cropped pants, skinny. They are a size zero. Yeah, and they're cute. This, These pants, I tried these on for my internship, weren't flattering on me, so I'm gonna sell them now. 
but yeah, they're cute, and I think somebody will like them. And I just found another pair of mini pants that were in my, was it my first or my, it was my second Vince trip haul. I found some mini pants. I haven't uploaded them yet, but maybe some, actually they're not even the same size. No one's going to bundle them together. Never mind. Okay, the next item I have is this Ann Taylor top. Now, Ann Taylor is not like the best seller in the world. I got this for a dollar though. There is the tag. It has the two dots, so it is factory. I really don't mind picking up factory if I brands like outlet brands if I get them cheap enough and to me a dollar is cheap enough and this is but it has to be a super cute style this I believe is a super cute style it's super plain but I'm just obsessed with this collar I think it's like the cutest thing ever and then the top is like a really nice linen oh, it's just this shirt is just amazing all right the next item I picked up I know I'm not gonna make a lot of money on I think all the solds for this were ten dollars and it's brand Talbots. Rarely do I pick up Talbots to resell. I've only picked it up once to resell, and it was a 1X. And I was like, okay, plus size is the only Talbots I'm gonna pick up. Now I like, cause this is a medium. And I didn't know this shirt existed when I said I was only gonna pick up plus size. But it says, stay chic, and it has these cute little sunnies in the corner. And that's my favorite part. They have those eyelashes, and they're like 3D. Like, oh my God, they're so cute. Stay chic. I just, I'm obsessed with this shirt. I think it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. If it doesn't do well on Poshmark, I can always consign it later down the road, but oh, it's adorable. Okay, the next item I have is just this J. Crew dress. It's not like the cutest dress in the world. It's just like this plain, striped dress. Basic, nothing too special. Buttons down the back. I bought it for a dollar, gonna list it at 20, see where we go from there. Okay, I think this is the only men's item I have in this trip. Actually, no, I have one other men's item. These I paid a dollar fifty for, and they are American Eagle. They are the, um, what are they? Extreme Flex. Do they have a style name? Sometimes I have style names on the inside. It's just a skinny, but there's just these acid wash jeans. They are a size 3230, I believe. Yep, they're a size 3230. They're just cool, cute. I like selling um, men's American Eagle bottoms. They tend to sell pretty well. I've never sold actual men's American Eagle jeans, but I've sold their shorts a couple times, and they went really fast. So I'm hoping these will do the same. And then I just listed a pair of American Eagle men's shorts uh, yesterday, and they already have like four or five likes on them. So, yeah. The next item I have is a first for me. I found this brand before, but I've never picked it up because I hear different things from different people. Some people say it sells well for them. Others say it doesn't, but it is the brand Club Monaco. So I found this before, like I said, but I'm just super picky when I pick it up. And it's just this really cute short sleeve shrug, cute little pockets. I think when I was looking it over to price it, I actually found some like discoloration on it. So we'll see how it does. if not I'll keep it myself because I think it's adorable and this is a size medium now this is something I probably would not put on eBay like even if it was, uh depending on the brand so like something like this say it was Ann Taylor White House Black Market and it had good solds on eBay I probably would not put it on eBay just because it's a heavy item and I use like their generically like USPS shipping so you just type in like the dimensions of your package you type in the weight and then you can just automatically do the USPS shipping. I don't use Pirate Ship or any of that. Way too complicated for me. I'm just gonna do the basics. So I don't want to do anything too heavy because then the shipping's gonna go up to like eight, nine, eleven dollars something that no one's gonna wanna pay for a sweater they're spending like 20 bucks on. So just a little information there. All right, the next item I got is a super cute Victoria's Secret tankini. I mean, she doesn't look cute right now because super wrinkled, but it's excellent condition like barely looks worn I paid a dollar fifty for it like the hardware is in perfect condition it is a size medium which I'm surprised it's not a cup size because this is padded but yeah just a cute little tankini I like I said I know summer is coming to an end but I really love buying swimwear so all right the next item I got is a brand I've never heard of before and I need to do some more research on it because I believe when I was looking it up on eBay, someone wrote in their titles, New With Tags, Sundance, Catalog, and then Angela Mara. So yeah, if it's sold at Sundance on the Sundance catalog, I'm definitely going to look that up. But it's just this really cute, um, 
what is it called? Tropical Floral Design. Yeah, Tropical Floral Design, I guess that's good. It's really sheer, so it's definitely a cover-up. Um, it kind of piqued my interest because it said Made in Italy. So I decided to pick it up and see how it did. I looked up the comps in the fitting room and they looked like decent. Maybe I can get at least 20 bucks for it, which I'm fine because I paid a dollar fifty for it. So that I get 20 bucks, make 16, paid a dollar fifty. I'm happy. All right, the next item I have are these top man shorts. Look like that. They're just these tartan shorts. They're really good for holiday time. Even though it's not the holiday time anytime soon, they're really good for that, I feel like. Um, I have one Top Man item listed right now. It has like decent attention on it. It's like okay, but it's also a size small. Um, this is the second Top Man item I've picked up, so we'll see how the brand does. I just like to experiment with different brands. I know a lot of people, I've heard people say Zara Man does pretty well. I feel like Top Man's like a good equivalent to Zara Men. Okay, sorry, just pushing. Yeah, they're closed near me in my bin so I can get them. All right, the next item I got is a soft surroundings top. So size large, this I paid $1.54. So it just looks like this, it's called the Danielle button top, I believe. This item is definitely going on eBay. I love how it has different buttons, it's so cute and eclectic. It reminds me of something I would see a woman wearing in North Carolina. The only reason I say that is because my parents have a house in North Carolina and I just feel like this is some North Carolina fashion. It's super cute, it's a size large, it's a good size, good brand. And that's definitely, I don't know if I said it, but that's definitely going on eBay. I have another soft surrounding piece, probably donated by the same person, because they're the same size and in the same store. And it's just this 100% linen purple top, and it has this really cute stitching, like, down the side. It's really unique and cool and different. This is another item that is going to go on eBay. Alright, the next item, I'm probably going to hate myself for buying this, because it's probably going to sit in my closet for months and months and months. But I'm really trying to figure out this brand and find a piece that sells. It's like my mission. And that is J. Jill. So it's just this floral layered tunic. So I say layered because this... So, I don't know. It's not showing. But here, see? Poofs. It's like layered. It looks layered. It's a tunic. It's this black and blue floral. I've done research on J. Jill Solds to see what sells well. And it seems like their linen sells well and their larger sizes sell well. Medium is not a larger size, but it's in great quality, it's a cute top, and honestly the soles didn't seem that bad on it when I looked them up, and this is another item that seemed to sell well on eBay as well, so this is gonna be listed on eBay. All right, the next item I have is another Simply item. So again, there's the tag, they're just these gray leggings. This, Seems to sell for some money on Poshmark. I haven't looked them up on eBay yet, but they seem to sell for like decent money on Poshmark. But yeah, pretty basic, great condition, and they are a size, they're a size six, but I paid a dollar fifty, so I was trying to get that. All right, the next item is another new to me brand, and that is a brand called Luna Luz. Looks like that. The size tag looks like it has been cut out. Um, I'm trying to look up more brands that I've never heard of before. I feel like I started getting into a rut where I was just thrifting for things that I kind of knew of and ignoring the brands I didn't. But I think it's important to continuously be looking at brands because there's always things you're not going to know. And this actually had pretty decent comps. Like, people are having these listed for like 40 50 and above. So, yeah, I'm probably not going to get that. When I first find a brand, I usually kind of price a little lower just to see how they'll do, but... Yeah, it's just like this brown cardigan with this kind of like ruffly collar thing. It's cute. It's a basic. All right, the next item I have is this Banana Republic. It's a cotton cashmere silk. And then it's just a V-neck sweater. So I pretty much only bought this because it says silk, oh, it says silk cotton cashmere. I know, here I thought. I had it memorized. I pretty much only bought this because it said silk cotton cashmere on it. Um, I'm testing out this theory. So I found a Banana Republic little cardigan similar to this, but it was black and it said Italian yarn on it and I listed it on Mercari and it sold almost within an hour. Maybe it was sold in minutes. I don't remember. It sold within a day. I think it was an hour. Whatever. So I had this theory. I'm like, okay, so when Banana Republic has things like listed, like there are nice fabrics listed under here. Is that like a thing that might sell well on Mercari? It's just 
testing it out. It was $1.50. I'm okay risking that. Alright, I have four more items left. Now these items are all special items because they're the first kids items I've ever picked up to resell. So, yeah, alright. The first two items I'm going to be selling in a bundle. So I paid a dollar for each piece of these clothes. For, yeah, for each piece I paid a dollar. So the ones I'm going to be selling in a bundle is this Cat and Jack, which is a Target brand. I know this probably costs like less than 20 bucks at Target. But I found two new with tags. So I figured I could lock them together and list them at like $20. And I only have two invested, so. Yeah, they're super cute. They're probably not going to sell right away. Probably going to sell in like the more winter time. But it's a super cute little fox on it. And the super cute little penguin with the ruffle hem, ruffle hem, pe peplum hem, whatever. And they're both 18 months, and they're just really cute. Okay, now these next two brands are actual good kids brands that I've learned from, again, watching Nicole State videos. Um, the first one are these mini Bowden terry cloth shorts. They're just so cute, like all the fish. This is just, they're just adorable. Okay, and this is what the tag looks like. Mini Bowden, and they say for a Y on them, which I'm assuming is similar to a 4T. Um, I used to work at Target, so I worked in the clothing department. Sometimes I work in the kids department, so I do know kid sizes, but I've never seen a 4Y before. So anyway, the next item I got, well, this is the last item in the haul, and the last kids item I got is this Hannah Anderson shirt. So it looks like this, and it's just like so cute. It has this really pretty stripes on it this adorable little floral wiener dog oh my god it's so cute oh so adorable but the sizing makes no sense to me i like i said i used to work and like the baby department sometimes so i know what kid sizes are we had like zero months to 5t i've never seen a 110 what is a 110 so i don't know what kind of sizing they do um i'm gonna have to look it up but i've never heard of that before so yeah, we'll see. I'm gonna post this, and then if I am go when I go to the bins or I'm out thrifting, if I find more in this size, I'll definitely pick them up so that I can lock them together, and they probably have a better chance of selling, and we'll probably sell for more money. Cause when we're talking about Poshmark, who really wants to spend seven dollars shipping on a kid's T-shirt? Kids grow fast; they might grow out of it as it's being shipped to them. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a long one. If you stayed here till the end congratulations um thank you for watching and yeah i will see you guys later bye and oh don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below thank you